learners, we're going to think about some high frequency words. High frequency words are really important. And all that means when something is high frequency, it means you're going to see it a lot. And it means you're going to need to write it a lot. I'm going to say a word and you're going to repeat it. And then I'm going to show you how that word works, thinking about the sounds and the letters. And then I'm going to show you what that word looks like and explain it with the letters and the sounds. So here we go. The first word is she. What's the word? Great, she. Here's what I think of when I think of the word she. Sh, e. There are two sounds in the word she, but there are actually three letters. Let me show you what the word she looks like. I'm going to write it on my whiteboard. Here we go. S, H, E. She. Here's how the sounds work with these letters. The S and H represent the sh sound. And the E represents the E sound. S H E spells she. So I would love for you to skywrite this with me where you are. S H E she. Well done. The next word we're going to do together is the word each. What word? Great job. Here's the sounds that I hear in each. E, ch, each. There are two sounds in each, but there are actually four letters. I'm going to show you how the word each works. E, A, C, H spells each. The E and A represent the E sound in each, and the C and H represent the CH sound in each. E A C H spells each. Can you skywrite this with me? E A C H each. You each did some skywriting with me to be able to work on connecting what we know about the letters and sounds in this word. Be on the lookout for each when you are reading. The next word is which. What word? Great, which. Here's the sounds I hear in which. W, I, ch, which. Three sounds, but you know what? Which actually has five letters. Let me show you how this word works. W H I C H spells which. The W and H work together to represent the W sound. The I represents the I sound. And the C and H together represent the CH sound. W I CH. Those are the three sounds. The letters we need to spell which are W-H-I-C-H. Which, let's skywrite that together. W-H-I-C-H spells which. The word which that we're talking about today is not the which when you think about the person, the which, that you might see people dressed up as for Halloween. It's one you'd use for a choice, like which wrist has a watch on it? My right wrist or my left wrist? The left one does, right. Which ice cream flavor do you like best? Chocolate or strawberry? Nice. So the first word we learned today was she. Say it with me. She. She is my friend. The next word was each. What's this word? Each. That's right. You each are working very hard where you are. This last word is which. What's this word? Which. Great job. 
Which color is your favorite out of these three? Pink, green, or blue? Which? This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.